Sabrina here. I am getting a ton of questions on um, how to cut up some of these more difficult types of fruits uh, that some people seem to be a little bit scared of. So I am going to show you today how to cut a pineapple. First of all, this is, looks like it might be a little bit ripe. When you're picking on a pineapple, you want it to be a little bit green and a little bit yellow. The, the good thing about the pineapple though is this thick, thick skin. Um, it keeps the pineapple inside very, very fresh for quite a while. So even if the outside does look a little on the ripe side, uh, the inside is usually gorgeous. So first thing you do when you first, um, you know, grab one is you need a cutting board, you need a knife, and you need just some sort of a container to put it all in. And uh, what you do is you take the top part in one hand and the bottom part in the other hand, and using your body a little bit, you twist it off, literally just twist it off like you would a can of uh, tomato sauce, I guess. Uh, this part obviously just gets thrown away. You can wear it as a hat, whatever you want to do with it. Um, I usually just toss that. What you would do is obviously get rid of the top and the bottom. So with a somewhat of a sharp knife, you, so you're just going to toss these. Now the seed of the pineapple is usually centered, but not always. Uh, as you can see here, this part right here is actually the center of it, and it is not at all in the center of the pineapple. Uh, what I do from here is I actually just cut it straight through um, the middle. You know, the seed is your guide. You're going to be cutting straight through the seed of the center of it. Now, when I say seed, uh, obviously it's not what you would, you would typically think was a seed. There's a line going straight down here. That's the seed. And uh, you might think that that's regular pineapple, but if you try to bite into that, it won't work very well. So what you'll do second is you'll lay it down here flat. So now you have four quarters, okay? And what I usually do from here is then I cu actually cut the seed out, which is why it's really important to make sure that they're through the middle. So you can actually see part of the where the seed is here, and you'll cut straight down and get rid of that. And you'll cut straight down on this one. And get rid of that. Now each one of these now has a flat spot where you actually took off uh, the seed. So what you do is you lay it down flat and you're going to cut it one more time. And be careful. And then from here, it's as simple as taking each individual one and then finding where the skin is. You're actually just going to cut all the way down each one of these. Now, um, some people do this differently. Some people leave it um, just like this and then put it right into the bin. And then other people will actually chop it um, like this, kind of like what you'd see the can of pineapple. But you can do it either way. Uh, what I usually do is I actually usually keep them um, straight like this. Because then when you go and you when you go into your refrigerator to grab one, you can actually just grab a paper towel, just grab a stick, and then just have a stick of pineapple. So it's very easy, a very great snack. So you got your little bits of pineapple there. It looks added dry a little bit of this. Mmm. Absolutely phenomenal. This is the way to go. Very, very good. But as you can see, with these longer ones, like with my son, I'll just take a paper towel, those wrap it around, hand it to him with a napkin. Very easily accessible out of the refrigerator. You can just go in and grab it. It's always, always so important to have healthy, healthy snacks available as soon as they open the refrigerator. That was a quick tip on how to cut pineapple fast and easy. Uh, check back here for more simple ways on cutting those fruits that might scare you. Bye-bye. Solidão é lava Que cobre tudo Amargura em minha boca Sorri seus dentes de chumbo Solidão, palavra